Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing kind of a silvery, burgundy, smoky eye, and um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wasn't exactly sure, when I kind of sit down to film a tutorial, I just kind of look at the palette that I have, and so today I'm using the BH Cosmetics 88 Shimmer Palette, Cool Shimmer Palette, which looks like this, and um, so it has all these colors in it. And it's missing three, so ignore those. But it has all these pretty colors in it, and I always just kind of sit down and think like, okay, what do I like? What goes together? What would you not expect to see go together? And um, so I'm really kind of pleasantly surprised with how this one turned out. So this is the eye that I already did it on, and I will just zoom in so you can see. So just a second. So this is what the finished look looks like, and it's really pretty and really smoky. And my eye just started watering, and so please ignore that. Um, but anyways, let's get so started. The first thing you're going to want to do is prime your eyelid with Urban Decay Primer Potion or any other primer that you have. I'm still using this travel size that I got with my Naked Palette. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and rub it in, and um, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's it. And then this part is optional, but I always like to um, put the jumbo eye pencil in the color milk underneath my brow bone, and it's just a really, really white. And um, then just kind of push, or not push, but like blend it in. All over the lid, I'm going to be using my jumbo eye pencil in the color yogurt. And it's just a really pretty, kind of shimmery brown. And it just kind of is the perfect base for this look. So just apply that all over the lid. From there, we're going to be using the BH Cosmetics 88 Cool Shimmer Palette. And the first color that we're going to use is this one over here. And I'm not sure it's in the right place because a lot of mine have kind of fallen out and come loose. But here it is. It's a really pretty, um, I don't think it's matte because it's a shimmer palette, but it's a really pretty shimmery white color and it's perfect for all over the lid. So I'm just using, I bought new brushes, yay, a few of them. Um, I bought this case, it's called Real Techniques and it just looks like this and it came with these two in here and then these three over here. And they're all eye brushes, and we're going to be using these three. I'm not going to do, like, a review or say that I like these yet, because I've only had them for a day, so I'm not sure how much I'll so like So we're just going to take our brush and dip it into that color, and then apply this all over the lid. And you're going to want to do this kind of generously, and you're going to want to get it kind of up into the crease. And everything is kind of today. You're going to want to get it up into the crease, I know for sure. So, after that, I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into this kind of almost like, oh gosh, kind of again. This brownie, it's focusing on my finger. This brownie color, it's a gray, brown, gold. It's right there. It's really pretty, and we're going to just apply this all over the lid, but not so much into the inner corner, um, the tear duct area. So just kind of start a little bit away from that, and slowly blend it into there, but you're not going to want to apply a ton of it there. And you won't want to use too much of this, this is just kind of to add a gold tint to the look. Then, we're going to use this brush, it is called a... I don't actually know what this is called. I feel like it's a smudge brush or crease brush. It's a deluxe crease brush and it says that all of them are marked. I don't think it's going to pick it up but it says deluxe crease brush. And we're going to use the color right here. It's in the burgundy line, the burgundy and brown line right here. But it's this one and it's a really pretty brownie burgundy color. And we're going to just use this, put a little bit on to your brush, and just bring it into the crease and do windshield wiper motions. And you don't want to get it down onto the other colors. And 
And then um, obviously clean up your lines a little bit and blend it out so that it looks better. And then after that, we're going to use the same color and with a pencil brush or whatever you have. This is just a pixel point eyeliner brush. We're going to use the same color and go along our upper lash line just to kind of, in the place of eyeliner, because I've really been liking colored eyeliner lately, but I don't have any, so I feel like um, using eyeshadow is a good alternative. And then optional would be along your lower lash line as well. And be careful you don't get it into your eye. So now you have everything done except for your eye mascara and eye mascara. Your mascara. And I'm using, where did I put it? I'm using Day to Night the Glam Eyes from Rimmel London. I've used this in the past few tutorials and I love it. So just apply this to your upper lash line. If you want, you can put it on your lower lash line, but um, I just don't like putting mascara on my lower lash line. So. And, oh no! And if you want, you can curl your lashes too. So there's that. I always get a little mascara on my face. And then the other side is just the volume one. I used the length one first and the volume one after. And I just put that on as well. Now once you have all of the mascara the way that you want it, you are done and you just need to add a lipstick or a gloss and I'm choosing to just use a gloss today. And my gloss is Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in Fresh Mulberry. I've had this forever or like since Christmas or something. So just apply this all over your lips obviously. And it tastes so good. So that is the finished product. Um, I'll get closer so you can see the eye. So it's a really pretty um, silver shimmery eye. And I've been loving this. And yeah, since I created it like five minutes ago, I've been loving it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see more makeup tutorials or hair tutorials, you can always give me ideas in the comments or requests. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.